I showed you my gyroid. Please respond. Hey, uh, I'm here. Uh, so no intro to the to the Animal Crossing day. I've already I've already been playing a little bit. I didn't do anything on my island. I just went to visit uh my girlfriend Nessie's for a little bit and give her a bunch of gifts. Oh, there's a fossil right there. Cool. Um, so I I played this a bit yesterday as well as on stream uh, the other day. Uh, I've got some stuff to do. I already went to the shop today. It's closed now, even with the night owl ordinance, but hey, it's, uh, there was nothing there. I already got what was, what was good there the other day, which included, um, some recipes. So now I have a couple more. Um, it also included the, what is it? Uh, equipment? It was the, the ladder. Oh, was it, maybe it's considered a tool. Yeah. Uh, they sold the wooden ladder setup kit, so I can just set up permanent ladders. Um, I also went on another Cap'n tour yesterday, which I'm going to do again today. And um, he gave me kind of a spiel about uh, about vines. So now I have some vines, which do the same thing as the standing ladder. I could just put them down on the cliffs and climb them. There's also luminous moss, and I made a luminous moss hood from it, which is kind of cool. Uh, seasonal recipes... Oh, I like that wreath. I like that mushroom wreath. Um, other? Equipment. Oh, yeah, here it, here it is. Glowing, gl not luminous, glowing moss. What is luminous moss from? Monster Hunter? But yeah, I, I have that. It's, it's not that great. It just glows a little bit, and it's green. Uh, so I found those yesterday. Uh, I didn't dig up the gyroids yet. I did get another one, so I planted it. Uh, I did... Talk to Red at the campsite, and I funded another one, so recent Cyrus will be there, and that's good because uh, I have my my new favorite item, the inflatable bounce house, which I'm going to uh, customize with a new color today. I don't think you could customize it yourself. I think you have to bring it to recent Cyrus to do it. Yep, inflatable plaza toy. I also have a duster, which, uh, they were selling at the shop today. A new little, uh, accessory. So, yeah. Oh, and, uh, there was a bunch of stuff when I logged in today for Happy Home Paradise being set up. I didn't... I obviously skipped all of it, but, uh, I recorded most of what was being said. So, here's... Well, oh, also, here's me getting no hair on my head. And then all of a sudden... Uh, there's hair. I'll be doing that again today, too. Uh, so, uh, Isabel said the museum welcomes its newest addition, a cafe called The Roost. The owner of Rooster may be a bird of few words, but his coffee is so good it could say it all for him. Muse Blathers, our museum curator, has informed me that, like the museum, the cafe will be open 24 hours a day. And then, uh, when I loaded into the game, uh, this happened. Wait, what? Oh, did I... Oh, oops. I saved the entire clip. I you can't wait to duck in for a quick coffee break, and I bet a lot of you can't wait either. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate if you're interested in participating and have the time. Please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. Okay, so we'll do that too. And of course, that times up perfectly with this. See, I just recorded this whole cutscene in, in little chunks, just so I could play it. This is the intro to Happy Home Paradise, which I'm going to be doing a little later for a bit. So I like Lottie. I never played Happy Home Designer. I have her amiibo, though. She's nice. Is she related to Lyle? Like, I feel like she is. Go get her with the vision and insight. Yeah. She needs my help. Point of reference. If you want to join us, we're close by, so your commute would be a breeze, and I offer competitive salary. And of course, I said I'll do it right away.
so yeah, not not a ton going on. I'm just kind of grinding through all the new content <laughs> as it comes up. I believe uh, there's a. Uh... Oh, I think this is just. Uh... Yeah, this was just because I again I went to my girlfriend's island. President Nook. President Nook. <laughs> Yeah, whenever you need to go over, tell her I need to, I, I want to head to work or whatever. Okay. Uh, cool. So I don't need those anymore. That was just all for the express purpose of uh, showing that off during stream. Also, you, you want to hear something awful? Turn down your volume for this one. Yeah, so I tried the Mr. Driller multiplayer, and uh, it turns out it plays everyone's sound effects at max volume at the same time. Which I didn't realize happens. And that happens offline too, but uh, yeah, that's, that's quite annoying. I remember mashing through this because I was like, please, I gotta finish this. Yeah, uh, probably not keeping the sound up. For those in the future. Also, if you, if you pick up someone else's, uh, like, event item, it says, what was this again? And you just drop it. You're just not allowed to keep it. Anyway, that brings us back to here. Uh, I'm gonna do some daily rounds. Check some stuff out. I broke my shovel yesterday, so I got a new one. Or I made a new one. Uh, I should have three gyroids to dig up now. Worroid. Cool. Apparently, there's no tall or mega versions anymore. It's just the individual gyroids, which is fine, because apparently there are a ton of them. An aluminoid. And yeah, it's just as simple as burying it, watering it, and then digging it up, which is pretty nice. Very easy. Scatteroid. I hope they mean, like, it scatters things and not the other term for that word. Hold on just a sec, okay? Go fuck yourself. You ever see a photo of me when I was younger? Me and all my friends in pleather jackets with tons of spikes and studs, all black except our hair, which was neon. Look, I didn't invent the style. Cringing pretty bad, Renee. I mean, Renee's pretty cute. I think she could rock that look pretty damn hard. Paradise planning photo. Oh, they didn't even... Cool. Oh, Gullivar was here yesterday. I saved him, so... Got something from him. Uh, the... Th I ordered five more items from Nook Miles yesterday. I don't know if I'm gonna put them down, but... I will... Put them in my pocket. I'm gonna order five more today, too. Until I order everything. Red's, uh, treasure. So, yeah, he, sh he has two pieces of art a day now. At his new shop. I don't know if, if there's any fakes or not. But I think the one he gave me was genuine. Uh, and now I get to submit it to the museum and be absolutely wrong about that motherly statue. No, never mind. That is that is indeed a fake. Wow, I got rused. Day one. That is absolutely a fake statue. I, th I think the real motherly statue does not have its tongue out. Paradise planning photo. Alright, I want to see what this is. Oh, it's the three characters. That's nice. No real point to it, though. Not even any, uh... Not even a quote on it. Pirate bandana. Okay, so that's what I got from Gullivar. Nice. I think I had it already, but in, uh, in blue. I'll keep it on for now. Plaza Train. Plaza Game Stand. Gazebo. I believe that the, yeah, the Azumaya Gazebo. And then I have the other one. Yep. Yeah, oh, Plaza Balloon Wagon. Okay, never mind. That's not what I thought I had. So I don't think I'm going to set any of those down just yet. I'll probably put them away for now. <sighs> I 
I may change my mind later. I'll try to submit that, but I'm pretty sure it's fake. Put that in my storage. Uh, keep that. I don't have anywhere for gyroids in here. Not to wonder, do gyroids go into their own section of the storage? Hang on wall? Wait a minute, what? Oh, there's my, uh, there's my vo my vines and my glowing moss. Where'd the gyroid go? Oh, there's my fake mystic statue. Apparently there's a glitch where if you have your gates open now and you try to redecorate someone else's ha home, if you're that far in Happy Home Paradise, it like crashes the game. And I don't know if it's bad enough that it crashes it permanently or like you have to wait for a patch or what's going on there, but... Uh, oh, there it is. Worroid. So it's in the mycel- it's in the others. But apparently there is a patch coming forward at some point. put my ABD in here so I can access my funds at any time. I still have about 7 million. Oh yeah, I got two. I, in addition to the upgrade I got the first day, I have the other one now. So I have uh, 4,000 items, and I still have one more upgrade I could get to bring me up to 5,000. Which I will be doing fairly soon. That little guy go. Oh, you make like a little like uh stand like little little thing for it. I'll leave it there for now. Aluminoid. I like it. They, they're like the gyroids in the other games. Kind of were. They didn't always sound like they sync up with the music. These actually sound like they're made to like sync up with the songs that are playing, which is nice. My favorite is the the circular one that someone posted. Where it like it, it just it just like headbangs, and then uh, someone sped it up and put like G mod like ragdolling noises to it. Good stuff. Bump 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 bump. Bump Nice to meet you, Gyroid. You've discovered your first Gyroid. This is a special occasion. That deserves miles. Yes, yes. I hope you feel inspired to collect all sorts of different, wonderful gyroids now. 300. Rain-soaked gyroid. Collect different kinds of gyroids and earn miles in returns. I suspect once you experience life in their presence, you'll find it hard to resist hunting for more. Hmm? The fact that you only need 5 for the first goal leads me to believe there's no more than 20. Because if it's going to be 5, it's probably going to be like 5, 10, 20. Or 5, 15, 30. I want to make an arcade on the second floor at some point, but I also don't know. I've seen... I've seen the items that are in this version, a majority of them. First off, modern set, not back, so rip modern set. Um, also, why do I... I have two paintings, but I don't have that one. Or I have two records on my wall, but I don't have the one that's actually in my inventory here. Um, so yeah, the modern stuff isn't back. There's... Over, um, and this isn't meant to be a meme, 
there's literally over 9,000 new items, counting all the color variants. It kind of burn boils down more to, like, a several hundred, just because there's, like, 50 variants of some of the items. But, um, there's a lot of new stuff, and some of it's really cool looking. There's a couple items that I wouldn't mind finding at some point. Kiki okay, Love Song. Why didn't I have that on there? That was, like, that's, like, my favorite one. Oh, yeah. I mentioned this the other day. I don't know if I mentioned this on the stream or if I mentioned it... No, no, I did. I did. I didn't realize that uh, if you interacted with the stockings, uh, you get Jingle's photo out of it. So I put that up on the wall. So what's that leave? Plaza toy and the motherly statue, which will end up going right in the trash once it's uh, deemed worthless. Or I might put it in my storage. I don't know. It's not like I don't have the room for it. So it takes care of that. It takes care of the letters. Let's go. Pikachu. Uh, these still haven't grown back into three pumpkins yet. Like, does... Does that not work anymore, or does it just take a lot longer than I think? Because I'm so used to watering them when they're plucked that they just don't grow at the same rate. Anyway, I should probably move these pumpkins. I want to kind of actually grow a pumpkin patch with, with the other vegetables. I don't have any other vegetables yet, though. That's kind of the big, uh, the big oofy right there. I also don't know why I'm picking up the mushroom, uh, yeah, the mushrooms. I'm not gonna be using them. But I guess I could just toss them in the, uh, box. In the error box. Okay. He's enjoying himself. Anyway, I'm probably not gonna be streaming this too much. This is kind of just like, here's some major events going on. Uh, and then I might do Happy Home Paradise on stream occasionally, but I think the majority of the game is going to be just be played on my own, which is nice because it'll give me something to play not on stream. And I could focus on streaming the games I like. Uh, as for streaming this weekend, um, the video got posted. I mentioned it on, on Twitter already. Um, Sunday morning at 6 to 8 a.m. Eastern, which, by the way, it's daylight savings time, so technically it's an hour later than you think that would be. Uh, I'm going to be streaming Tetris 99, me versus viewers, for charity, for Extra Life, uh, on the VoiceOver Nexus channel. So check that out. Uh, check out Voxus on YouTube. They just uploaded a video. Check out VO Nexus on Twitter. There's a tweet there about it. It's it's all very... It's, it's not super, like, formal. We're kind of just gathering together to, to do this this weekend for Extra Life. And, uh, come by. Make it harder for me, because I think there may be some sort of incentive for me to to lose for the charity. So, make it worth everyone's while, and stop by if you can wake up that early. I'll probably post a notice here, and I'll probably host the marathon the entire time it's happening. Because of the weird schedule, I'm probably not streaming tomorrow night. Actually, I know I'm not. I'm not going to be streaming over the charity stream. Um, I thought I might stream tomorrow morning, but I don't know yet. I, I have to see how I'm feeling. Um, I, if anyone was here last night at 3 a.m., I did that kind of feelings dump that I've done a few times, and, uh, I'm not in the best of places, so I may not push myself as much as I want to here. Uh, that said, on Sunday, after I do the charity stream, uh, that night I may stream again. I, I don't know yet. It depends on how I'm feeling and what's up, what's going on, how drunk I get. I, I don't drink. Don't worry. Oh, Red's on my island today. Oh, shit, dog. Oh, or shit, Fox. I better go see him. I'm so glad the day doesn't roll over at midnight. <laughs> that would make this game way harder for me to stream. Not really. I could just go on my, my clock settings. Ah, oh, Zai. Hello, hello. You have more storage in your home now. Yes, yes. Perfect for storing all sorts of furniture and things. 
I think we'd expand your home storage even further, in case you feel cramped again, that is. If you want to discuss another storage expansion, I'm always happy to talk about your home. Uh, there's one more, I know, I could get, but I am not going for that right now. I'm gonna redesign the exterior. And then I'll get the last one tomorrow. Nook Shopping. Oh, yeah, I can access this from my, uh, whatever it is. Uh, Handheld Lantern, got it already. Promotion, I don't think they've added any more promotional items. Posters, got them all already. Daily Selection, uh, I don't think there's... Chirino, oh, that's new. Cool, well, that's one of the 12 new songs down. There are a ton more items than you would think. Yesterday, I found a skateboard rack, uh recipe. And I looked, and it's like, yeah, no, skateboards are a new item. Alright, bell voucher, I don't need those. Uh, congregated iron, corrugated iron fence, iron and stone, I think those are, corrugated iron is new. I don't have iron, I have iron and stone. Let's get that. I believe I have iron and stone. What are what are these put under? Equipment? Or other. It's other. That was it. Yeah, iron and stone I have. And now I have corrugated iron up here. Perfect. Uh, did I get another one? I, for some reason I checked and I just suddenly had a few of the new ones. Park fence and... Uh, I think this one's spook... No, not spooky fence. I had one that I, I I had one or two in my inventory that I didn't know I had before. I think it may have been large lattice fence or imperial. F no, it was large lattice because I don't have any. See, it was weird. Like it just suddenly appeared in my in my thing, and I didn't order it. Uh, so we got those. Uh, there's no new novelties. I checked through all that. We're buying new items going from the bottom up. So I already got the ABD storage shed. I put that down too, so you could I'll show you where that is. Got this, got this, already had that, got that, got already had this, got this, already had this, got this, got this, got this, got that, got all these. The solar pan no solar panel's not new. Wind turbine's not new either. Plaza balloon wagon, I have that. I don't have the pergola yet. So let's buy that. Park Fountain is new. I'm so glad I stocked these up for like a whole year. Parabolic antennas, no old windmill. Do I have that? Windmill volleyball net. Let me check those two. Again, I'm doing it just to have the items. Wind mill. Nope, I have wind turbine. Uh, and what about it? Uh, the volleyball net? V ball. Nope, don't got it. So windmill's new. Volleyball net's new. Uh, I'll, I'll probably put the volleyball net pl in place of the soccer goal. Plaza clock, that is definitely new. So is the plaza arc. These are old. I have these. I think I have street lamp with banners. I'm not sure, though. All right, plaza clock it is. Okay, so we'll start with plaza arc next time. Cool. Open this. Rusted part. Oh, all right, because Gullivar was here. Uh, I'm gonna keep those. I, I could probably use them for something. 
In fact, I'll probably just toss all these in storage. It's not, it's not like I don't have the room, am I right? Alright, uh, inflatable plaza. Okay. Look, what you, uh, me, what are you doing? Construction consultation. Hold a ceremony. Not yet. About my home. So yeah, I do have the Night Owl Ordinance on. I think it makes everyone stay up two hours later. I know Able Sisters closes at 9 now, and um, the Nook Shop closes, I think, at 11. I have to check. It's before midnight, I know that. I want to customize... So wait, okay, customize. We can customize the outside of your home for free. Place the order now, be ready for tomorrow morning. Show you the design catalog. So there's new designs now. So we have... This, that looks pretty good. I like the brick house. We have the Japanese house, which I have to, I kind of have to go for that. We have a kind of a clay house going on. That's nice. Roof, uh, I, I want to keep it yellow. Red stone, orange stone. Ooh, these are new. French grass thatch roof. Oh, it's different depending on your style. Look at that. It's weird that the house looks a lot smaller here, though. But I guess whatever. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like that. I might uh, do this. Yellow t tile siding. Classy Zen. Natural Zen. Popular Zen. Plain Zen. Wet and right Asian sliding. Siding, excuse me. Green and brown, red and green, pink and white. Uh, this is like me trying to find... Uh, see, that would be my color, but that also doesn't look that great. Castle exterior. That's pretty cool. Gold. Oh, that's tempting. It's such a douchey, like, high and mighty color, but I'm, I'm down for it. Yeah, that does not fit. Yeah, that door absolutely does not fit the style of the, uh, of the castle. Kind of like that. Keep the mailbox as is. I could do yellow wooden square. I like the, uh... Yeah, the rustic one. I don't... I'm not a fan of the big one. Like, like no one's personal mailbox looks like that. You know what? This fits the style, because I have that whole zen garden behind my house. So let's, uh, let's go with that. I think this looks good. It's a bit garish because of the coloring, but... You know what? I like it. It looks fine. Hmm, interesting design choice. I'll make sure that construction is done by tomorrow morning. If you're like me, you're already excited. So I don't think I could expand now in, a t in addition to this. Oh, not how it's, uh... Oh, you want to take part in a ceremony? Right now, we can hold a ceremony to, to celebrate the completion of the museum remodel. Interested? I sure am. Splendid. Let's get started. God damn, we are packed. Now then, I'd like to begin our special ceremony celebrating the grand opening of our fancy new museum. Thank you. Our fine no Buddhism started with nothing more than a single tent, and just look at it now! That's thanks to everyone's hard work and dedication. I simply can't thank you all enough. I want to invite the museum's curator, Blathers, and the Roost's owner, Brewster, to say a few words. Yes, yes, gentlemen, if you would both be so kind. Residents of no Buddhism, I most humbly thank each and every one of you for your ongoing support of our esteemed museum. Booster and I are old friends. The, the voice is too similar to Tom Nook's. I gotta change how Tom Nook sounds. 
Brewster and I are old friends, and it pleases me to find my to, uh, and it pleases me to my very pin feathers to have him open his cafe here. This new edition shows off how our museum is more than an institution of learning and culture. It is also a place for rest, relaxation, and stirring conversation among the Nobertison community. I hope the roost fuels many an animated discussion, and I look forward to seeing all of you there. Come by if you want some coffee. I'll clean a cup for you. Wow, Brewster's wings are giant. Lathers, Brewster, thank you both. Next, I'd like to thank the one who tracked Brewster down, our resident representative, Zai. It's only right that we get a comment from Zai as well, hmm? Anything to add? We're amazing. Woo, good for us. It's, it's the same three all the time. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Zai. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press... <sighs> yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Nobertizen's beautiful museum. Hooray! Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Doesn't the game have, like, a, an extra stat that it tracks when you do good things or, or have, um, have these celebrations? Like, it's really weird. Like, it's an invisible stat that's supposed to do something and it actually doesn't. I can't remember if that's this game or if this was, it was a previous uh, Animal Crossing game. It was, like, a kindness stat of some sort. Or wait, I might be thinking of Mother 3. That's what I'm thinking of. I love Nook's little toe beans. Okay, yeah, I can't get the last upgrade. Alright, so I'll get that tomorrow. It's nothing worth streaming, so... I wanted to show off the customizations anyway. Actually, come to think of it, it's kind of dumb because now you're not going to see the, the house tomorrow. Ah, oh, whatever. You'll see the house later. Um, Nothing to review here. Like I said, I already have the ordinance in effect, and I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to put the flower ordinance in effect just yet. Or ever, because I don't want more flowers at this point. And Bell Boom is kind of pointless because I have 7 million bells and I don't think I need that many to finish getting all the stuff I want. Alright, what is this? 11pm uh, is when Nook's Cranny closes now. And uh, Able Sisters close at 9? No, they close at 10. Right, so they, clo they both close an hour later. So anyway, here's the storage shed. It literally is just the storage shed. It's, it's your storage from home. Which is quite handy. I will not deny that that's not handy. I will not deny that that is handy. Not is, is not, 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 not. Okay. Alright, I have to go see Red up in the corner. Ooh, if it isn't Zai, today at long last the cafe is open for business here in Nobertison's museum. I cannot possibly thank you enough for bringing Brewster to us, but I shall at the very least try. Ahem. From the end of my beak to the furthest tips of my tail feathers. Thank you, Zai. Now I imagine you'd like to know where the cafe is. Up the stairs and to the left, you can't miss it. Oh, and just like our museum, the cafe is open, and Brewster is eager to serve at any time, day or night. So whether it's for the exhibits or for the perfect cup of coffee, please enjoy your visit to our museum. Hey, I got something for you. It's probably fake, but... Whatever. I'll just toss it in the garbage. Mm, the, yeah. Yep, it's fake. What a... 
What are we, a legitimate museum? No, 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 buddy. We follow British museum rules here. Authentic stolen pieces only. I think one of my favorite screenshots is, is the empty statue room when the update first came out for it. And someone took a screenshot saying the British Museum if they had to give back all the stolen artwork. Ah, oh, man. White people still so much shit. Oh, it actually tells you how much space you have there. That's cool. When you're putting stuff away. That's, that's pretty useful. I don't know why I have this stone axe in my inventory. I made it a long time ago thinking that I was going to put... Or that I was going to break the axe I had, and then I never did. I have a regular axe in there, so I might as well just put this one away. I have to stop clogging up the space. Uh, inflatable plaza toy. You know what? Let's go to Harv's Island first and get that over with. I'll fund another shop. I'll customize this toy. And uh, I will see if Red's there. I don't know if he's there, if he's on the main island. A good time to check. I will say they made the, they made one of the most pointless parts of the island to go to one of the best parts now. I mean the phototopia was cool for taking candid shots, but not everyone used that. This is something that everyone can now use and and make great uh make great uh I don't know. I'm losing my train of thought. Give a quack to win back. Okay. So uh Harv added a, an ABD here and in his literal words it's 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 here in case you need to do a capitalism, which uh of course we will be doing. Hey there, welcome back to Harv's Island. Or is it technically an archipelago? A Harvipelago? The studio's open now, so feel free to get in there and take some pictures anytime you like, bud. Got the shops. Oh, I'm so proud of our little co-op. And we're still growing! We're still accepting donations, of course, so if the mood strikes, give us your fucking money. Take your time here, sugar. Oh, I get so happy when you come by to visit, sugar. Wait, but I want a hairstyle. We are living free and easy lives, just as we do every other day. Take it easy and enjoy, hon. I wish I could live a free and easy life. God, work pissed me off so fucking hard today. I was not happy about that. Nope, he's not here. There's not even a close sign if he's not here. Oh, they close! They're just not available during the evening. Oh. Okay, I, I guess I have to be earlier in the day. Well, that sucks. I was kind of hoping this would just be open 24-7. Alright, uh, who do I want to fund? It really does- well, you know what? Katrina's the next new character, so... We'll fund her. Fund her. Fund it. Considering that it costs as much to upgrade this fully as it does to get one of the storage expansions, it almost doesn't seem worth it to go for the storage expansions until you've done this. Alright, you guys, you kind of screwed me by not staying open this late, so I can't really stream that. Um, whatever, I'm sure everyone's seen it. I'll customize my big inflatable uh, ride tomorrow. KK Durge, and yet every time 
much anywhere it plays. In one of my rooms, in the plaza, in my girlfriend's house. Love this thing. I love it. Okay, well, I guess we've... Well, we haven't gone to the Roost yet, but I'm gonna go on a Nook tour. Not a Nook tour, a Cap'n tour first. Which I also found out something neat about. So let's head over there in a flash. Oh, wait, Red's here. Shit. Okay, let me go see Red first. Then I'll go on the tour. Then I will go to the Roost. And then we'll do some, uh... We'll do some Happy Home Paradise for maybe an hour or so. Oh yeah, so this is the Feather Duster. Uh, it was just in the shop, and it goes absolutely great with... No, not with that. Um, the hell is my wand? There it is. It grows great with my maid costume. So I could just dust everything. Oh yeah, I could customize the wind, the lighthouse to be a uh, yellow lighthouse. <sighs> like the thing is, do I really want to commit to to that color for everything I do? that display stand much so much 40 yeah we'll buy it meeting room table that's new as well just like in real life I have no monetary self-control okay so I think I have those two already Common painting. What is it? Graceful. Dynamic. No. Moody. No, that's not it. Perfect painting. Quaint, scary, scenic. Oh, they have the both the, the original and the counterfeit in there. Sinking painting. Twinkling painting. Warm painting. All right, I have to look up which which ones are fake here. Which ones are the real ones, and which ones are the fake ones? It is possible for him to have all forgeries. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Flowery painting. No fake variant. Okay. Bless you. Do I have flowery? No, I don't. Okay, so I could actually get that right now. Flowery painting. Wait. Nope. Dot tights. Dot tights, dot thighs. No, wait, they are tights. What am I saying? Uh, and there's this... Moving painting. I don't know if I have that already. I think I do. Again, it's so hard to keep track of, like, everything. You kind of have to, like, know in advance exactly what you need. I should make a list of the exact items that I need from Red, now that I'm going to be making a push to get all of them. Moving painting I don't have. Fake moving painting places the trees on the right side with pink flowers. So that's fake. Okay. I 
I think I have the Moody painting already. I can check the museum. Familiar statue. The familiar statue has no fake variant. Oh, this is also authentic. Alright, so I get to choose which one I want. I don't know if I have the familiar statue. Let me check. Uh, wait, hold on. Did I spell familiar wrong? Hold on. Yeah, I, 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 A, R. Okay. Nope. Alright, so he's got two new ones. Which is nice. The last two times I, I tried to get an item from him on, on this island, uh, he had either nothing but ones I had already or nothing but fakes. just get I got, I got like a big nook miles thing true patron of the arts collecting true number uh, okay oh 20 out of 20 nice bold artistic statement yeah there's nothing but flowers up here I could probably harvest Eliminate some of these out just to put down like food Crops and stuff like that since it's a little cramped down here I knew I had that in there already. It's fine. It's artistic nudity. It's fine. Uh, do I have the starry moonlit night? Starry night? It's starry night. Moonlit night is, is starry moonlit night is the song from Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. There it is. I don't have the flowery painting in here, no. I'm, I'm missing a lot. That's why it's, like, hard to keep track of all of it. I should probably make a list of what I have and what I still need. So I don't... Uh, I don't miss anything. But hey, we'll have a new statue here tomorrow. That's nice. It'll be nice to finally finish this, this fucking museum. The Roost, open 24-7. Well, we're here. We might as well. I will invite someone. I have several amiibo, and I will see what happens. Ah, yes, this music. Love it. That was probably my least favorite part of New Leaf, is that the roost was, like, its own building, instead of just being part of the museum. Sorry, but that's reserved seating. Reserved for who? I'm a professional. Professional what? Thanks for passing the message on back on that remote island. If you ever find yourself in need of a cup of coffee, just swing by. If you're here on your own, take a seat at the counter.
Coffee's 200 bells. Care for a cup? Well then. Sure. Wow, that is old-fashioned heating right there. Nothing. Black, too. Here you go. One cup of the house special. Drink up and enjoy. Mmm, warm. Nothing like a fresh cup of hot coffee to warm my whole body. Thank you very much, Koo. I drink more than one or is it limited? Looking for another cup, it's just 200 bells. I need my bean juice. <laughs> well then. Wow, there's really not a whole lot to do here if you're not inviting people, huh? So is there more than one uh, thing if you drink it? Because I know back in, the, in New Leaf, there'd be multiple sayings when you had the cup. Or I think you get the ability to customize over time. I can't remember. Mm. Oh, yep. Just a bit bitter. And that's how I like it. Alright, I have my bean juice. It's time to... Just be careful. Too much coffee can mess with you. Really, now? Hello, you have reached the Amiibo Call Center. You can use an Animal Crossing am character's Amiibo to invite them to the roost. Would you like to invite someone now? Please ready the Amiibo for the customer you want to contact. Who do I want to invite? Uh, I have several good, several character Amiibo. I have a lot of character Amiibos, actually. I'm going to try two things first and foremost. See what happens if I do this. This amiibo is not supported. Okay. Alright, so just a generic not supported amiibo. Alright. This is the amiibo for kicks. Are you sure you'd like to contact this customer? Yes, I am. Please wait while we process your request. Thank you for waiting. We've contacted Kix. The customer you contacted will be here shortly. Please wait inside for their arrival. Hello there, chum. You wanted to see me, eh? Chat and whatnot? Alright then, suppose it's time to take it easy. Nothing like a nice cup of coffee to refill the tank. I feel like a freshly shined pair of shoes. Seeing as I'm already here, think I'll treat myself to another cup for the road. Couldn't hurt, eh? Crikey, Bruce is a master at his craft. Inspiring and whatnot, don't you think? No milk, no nothing. I like my coffee nice and simple. Helps you savor the aromas and all that. Yes, you would know a lot about aroma, wouldn't you? When the world's got me down, I'll treat myself with a nice cup of joe with a bit of sugar. Makes it all right. Oh, now I can sit in these chairs. Rooster's like, oh, okay, use the phone. You're allowed to sit there now. So can I call more people? Currently a customer you invited is visiting the roost. Would you like that customer to leave so you can invite someone else? Oh, okay. 
So it's only one at a time, but people will bring multiple amiibo with them. I guess because there's no... There's no... Like, for Mabel and Abel... And... Was it M Mabel, Sable... I don't know. The Abel sisters. There's only one amiibo for them, even though there's, th there's three sisters. So I think they bring all three of them with them. Alright. So that's neat. It's just a couple, couple extra lines of dialogue. I'm, like, wondering, uh... No, let me try an amiibo card. <sighs> See, like, I love this idea. It's just so clunky. It doesn't... It's not, like... It's not ideal. I would not want this to be how things are. Amiibo cards don't hold their shape very well because that NFC chip in it kind of fucks with the uh, cardboard. What's up? It's so cool to finally meet face to face. Thanks for dragging me out here. Ever worry about how Brewster can hear everything that gets said in here? Because I do. I have secrets. So if you ever hear me talking about eating free pizza, I'm speaking in code. What, what? Wait, I bet Brewster heard all that. Slugs, now I need a new code. I'm down for getting a cup of coffee absolutely anytime you'd like. You don't even know me. I've never actually met Cherry. I have her card and I've never invited her to town before. You can wake me up for all I care. It's all good. Waking me up is what coffee does best. What, what? Everything's better with coffee. Good news, now it's great news. And bad news, coffee takes the sing out. There's nothing I can't handle as long as I've got a hot cup of coffee ready. What, what? You know, I loved iced coffee. I love iced coffee, but it just doesn't have the same amazing smell that hot coffee puts out. Puts off, excuse me. There's, there's nothing like when you get that first whiff of really good coffee. I'm trying to remember when I started to enjoy coffee. There was definitely a period before I liked it when I drank it anyway. It was just kind of useful to me then. Actually enjoying it? I guess that part snuck up on me. Funny how things in life do that. I've only been here a little while, but I'm really digging the vibe here in No Birdizen. It's nice. If things ever start to go sour back home, I'll have some big choices to make. I hated coffee when I was younger. It was just too bitter for me. Of course, now I drink it all the time. Maybe I just had to get a little bitter myself. What, what? <laughs> There's just something cozy about this island. It's almost like I'm back in my hometown. Alright, well, uh, that's kind of the extent here. This is more of a multiplayer thing because you can have four people drink coffee at once, I guess. So let's drink one more. Ultimately, it's funny how people thought this was going to be like the main hook of this update, and it's kind of like the least functional part of it. Drink up, bitch. Yes! I'm blissing out on this coffee right now. The scent alone is enough to wake me up. See, I thought, like, drinking too much coffee would actually fuck with me somehow. Oh, you can't even... I, oh, it counts. Yeah, it just counts as an indoor area. Whoops. Yeah, so I guess that's kind of the extent of it. This is more of a multiplayer hub than anything else. Though there is another thing active now, and I don't know what it is. Come home to Roost. Do stop by to enjoy a cup. Roost is quite picky about the coffee they serve. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, so it's the amount of days you go there. Veteran Sailor, uh, Stretch to Refresh. Oh, so, wow. 
They really want to do all that, huh? Alright, well that was fun. It was nice. It's a nice little social area. Probably won't be stopping. Maybe I'll stop back in there next time I stream it and, and do another amiibo or something. Ah, uh, bird brain, can I bend your ear some? I see, I can't stop thinking about getting my grubby mitts on a real meeting room table. And I kind of sort of figured you might have one. Maybe you even got it on you right now. Wait, you do? Oh, please tell me you'll trade it for my round flame glasses. We got a deal? Alright, what are you waiting for? He's wearing my phone cover as his shirt. Thanks a hundred. I owe you, kiddo. Kiddo. Kiki! Let's go on that tour, then, uh, I will, uh, I'll play some Happy Home Paradise. I may not do Fuga tonight, just because I don't know if I'm in the mood for it, honestly. So there's something to this, actually, that I did not, uh, know about. While he's singing, if you press Y, X, and A, Y makes you, uh, shocked. X makes you laugh. And A makes you clap, and you could hold it, so you could get, like... Also, I'll show this on the way back. If you apparently either mash B or hold B, it makes him skip this whole thing. And it just uh, brings up the loading screen. Yeah, we arrived. I'll be waiting here for when you're needing tools if you're wanting to set sail for home. Sun-kissed boater. Oh, so yeah, here's the vines I was telling you about. You just press A and you climb them, and then you can take them, too. And then there's the uh, glowing moss you could see around the edges here. This is the exact same island I got yesterday. What the hell? These cabin tours haven't really been diversifying anything. The fact that you can only go on one a day, too, is kind of annoying. But I guess there's a point to that. It's gonna be a gyroid. Yeah, this is weird. This is the exact same island I got yesterday. <laughs> super happy about that. Especially since the whole thing was like, oh, you could go to an island with a different time of day, different weather, different season. It's like, oh, that's cool. So you get a little taste of another season. 
but it's it's like nope, it's it's just uh, it's the same. That said, these usually yeah they have something new. Rope net wall. I think that's new. It's a wallpaper, probably. Rope net wall. Six vines, ten wood. So yeah, the, these islands usually have a, a recipe for new stuff involving the new items. Which is useful. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot here. I could try busting the... Uh, rocks open, but I don't think it's going to result, result in too much here. Oh, never mind. Oh, right, there's a money rock on one of these. Like, this happened yesterday, too. So that's cool. So it's potentially that you get two money rocks a day, which, I mean, it's not that much money, but better than nothing. I mean, you can fish, too. I bet there's fish that you probably, like, can't find on season when you go to these islands. But it's also... Oh, all this... No, another money rock. But it's also, like... I already caught all the fish at this point, so I don't need it. I think it's like you either get a rock out of that, or you can get a uh, a gold nugget out of the uh, out of break busting rocks open. But I think it's like a very small chance of it. Wow, nothing but money rocks here. Okay, that's that's different. Cool, 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 cool. All right. I have so many bells, I can't hold them all. All right, I think I've kind of harvested all I can out of this island. Let's craft. What can I craft? Uh, all stuff I have already. Yeah, there's the loot glowing moss hood, which I made yesterday. It's it's not that great.
Say it ain't so. You wouldn't stop an old salt from singing, would you? You don't hear me. Oh, it closes before you can even sing. It closes before you can even finish. Oh, that's sad. That makes me sad. I don't like that. I'm not doing that again. I don't want to make Cap'n upset. He's a nice old chum, and I like him. Shroom. There was a weed down here. Yep. Saw that before, and I was like, oh, I gotta pluck that. No, don't put that away. I need that. I don't think the amount of times you water it or how long you leave it affects what it becomes. I think it's just random. Alright. I think that kind of covers everything here. Surprisingly, this still managed to last an hour, despite it despite me not doing much much new. But uh we still got plenty of uh new stuff to look at. Keep our, our wallet modest here. I don't like having so much that spills over into my pockets. That's annoying. I... I need to rethink my island and, like, how I want it to look. Because there's definitely... Stuff that can be done differently. Please? Yes, what do you do? That gummit, I feel so itchy. Feels like I'm going crazy itchy. The curse is lifted. Oh, I've been itching for weeks, but I thought it was just because I sleep in a wool sweater. Kiki! What? You've never slept in a wool sweater? Sweater? Don't knock it till you try it. Then you can knock it all you want. Well, I gotta flee now. So I can just toss it in my storage. Alright, I'm stalling long enough. I think it is time to finally check out... Oh, I got the app too. Uh, so now on the loading screens, these show up on the lower left. And uh, they just all get archived here. And you can turn them on or off. That's all. And again, it's just... Um, Mostly just stuff you already know. There's nothing incredible there. A lot of people don't know what this is. If you have more than one resident on your island, you could use it to call them. I had two originally, and then I got rid of one when I first started, just to uh, help farm bells. Totally legitimately. Before I do this, I need to check something here. All 
Okay, so they don't consider Happy Home Paradise a separate game on Twitch. Uh, that's fine. How can I help you out today? I want to go to work. Something I'd never say in real life. Ah, so you're going to work. Roger that. I could set you up right now, but are you ready? All packed and stuff? Time for takeoff. All right, let's get you airborne. All right. By the biplane's eyes, is this your first time flying these particular skies? So this is... I've never played Happy Home Designer, so this is entirely new for me. There's a bunch of little islands scattered around out here. Real pretty. Tropical fruit for your eyes. Also the regular kind of tropical fruit. Yep, I could see a bird landing on one of those islands and deciding to just stay grounded for a while. Not me, though. Whoa, sorry there. Just realized you're heading to, into work, aren't you? Well, uh, in that case, take a look at the monitor in front of your seat and take it easy while you can. <laughs> I hope loading this is, is quicker on, on subsequent trips. I love how these areas look. Like it makes you it makes me want to like dig out areas like that on my main island, but it would take forever cuz unfortunately um the island designer tool is still as slow as fuck. They didn't upgrade it at all. I'm not super happy about that. your captain. We're almost to our destination, so please prepare for landing. Return your seat to the upright position and make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Our standard operating procedure for a seaplane will be landing on the water. He finally has new landing dialogue, even if it's just a variation of the same landing dialogue we've had the entire time. Hi, welcome. You must be the newbie that Lottie was talking about, right? That's right. Well, I'm glad the island sent you to me. I'm Nico. I work with Lottie. Everyone is so ready for you. The office isn't far from this pier, so let's get going. What is you putting in plenty of overtime in this little side project? Best of luck to you. If you look at the Lottie's shop, it's just north of here. Be careful out there, okay? What's wrong? Are you nervous? It's really not a big deal. Just go. This is the office. Go on in. I love this outdoor uh, deck. A little too complex to build in the main game, though. Ah, oh, welcome. I have been waiting for you, Zai. And welcome back to you too, Nico. Thanks for leading the way. I think Nico has already introduced himself, but I'll introduce you to everyone formally now. Everyone, this is Zai, the person in charge of our custom vacation homes. Glad you're here, Zai. You'll help Zai out, won't you? I'd sure be grateful. Grateful, please say yes. I'd sure be grateful. Of course! Great to have you on the team! Just remember, I'm your guy if there's anything you need. The islands around here are kind of like my backyard, you know? Yep, Nico's our expert when it comes to all things local. He can take you straight to any island you need. Aw, you're too kind. I'm also trying to learn more about sales and home construction, so ask me anything. Next up is Wardle. Oh, that must be related to Wendell. 
He's in charge of managing furniture, procurement, and other related matters. Oh, right, because Wendell was an artist. We also sell furniture and souvenirs here in the office, so he's in charge of that part of the business as well. Staff can make purchases too, so you can check out the products later. You might find something interesting. Hello. Okay, that's the whole team. I just know the four of us are going to do great things together. Go team! Yeah, go team! It's a policy to wear a uniform when you're working. You'll find yours in the locker upstairs next to the mirror. You can use whatever you like in the staff room, including the mirror and the cabinet up there as well. Alright, just call me when you're finished changing. Still looking for that uniform? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go change and come see me. He's shy like me. Lottie's waiting for me. I'll shop some other time. Oh, that's the souvenir you get to, to mo make someone move into the islands. Hurry up. Go get changed. You want to head for the second floor? There are nameplates for Lottie, Nico, and Wardle. I like how they gave me my own locker in the corner. Should I change up my look with a wooden length full mirror? Oh, cool. You can just change your, uh, your style here. Yeah, this is the hairstyle I got from, uh, from Harriet the other day. Alright, nothing new there. Looks like I can store things in this cabinet. You can use this cabinet to access your home storage. Oh, that's nice. Alright, what should I do? Eh, never mind. We don't need to worry about it. Looks like you can fit a lot of stuff in this box. Interesting. I wonder what that box is for. So this is my locker. Looks like my work uniform is in here. You can use this locker to make changes to your work outfits. Paradise planning Alola top. Alola. Aloha. Wow, I got Pokemon on the brain. Formal shorts, comfy sandals. Paradise planning Moo Moo. That looks more comfy. Bear backpack. Oh, that's so cute. The rest of these are all items I've had before. I'm not going to put any of those on, though. Kimono sandals. Those are not comfy around to walk in. Let's put paw slippers on. That, that's nice. Makes me fit in better with the animals. Funny face socks. I can't really see them, though. Or the duck beak while I'm here. Yes, I will do that. I hate how big the glasses are. Like, they never look like they actually fit on your character. Headwear. Ooh, bamboo hat. That's a favorite of mine. Gothic headdress. Ooh. Sombrero. Mini straw boater. Bear cap. Plain paperboy cap. Oh, I wish the dandy hat was here. Oh, I could use a custom hat. Like my... Like the, the Gabumon hat. Jotaro's hat. Alright, I forgot I had Rohan's hat here, too. Wow, that looks very weird. Alright, let's just go with straw hat. Bamboo hat, rather. Green grass skirt. Uniform. You know what? This to me 
screams professional. Let's go for it. Oh, you look so official, and the fit is just right. Fantastic! Well, now that you're all decked out in the official garb, let me just say, welcome to Paradise Planning. Oh, did I forget to tell you about our name? We're Paradise Planning. It rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Our goal is to help our clients live out their dreams in vacation homes of their very own. So we have to get to know them on a personal level to deliver on that project. Blah, 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 blah. So we have to get to know them on a personal level to deliver our... Wow, why that line is hard to read. So we have to get to know them on a personal level to deliver on that promise. I just know you'll be great at it, Zai. Now, I think it's best to learn on the job, so I'd like you to get started right away. I'm here to help you as much as I can, but remember, I'm here. What I mean is, I can't leave the office. Not to worry, however. Nico will be joining you for your client consult- consults. Consults? Consults? Consort? You got it, Lottie. Don't worry about a thing. I'll be with you what the- I'll be right with you the whole time. You can even call me boss. I mean, if you want. Boss. Alright, now all we need to do is find some clients. <gasps> Elephant. Welcome! Well, isn't this a darling little office? I've heard this is just the place to be when one is looking for a vacation home tailored to one's needs, yes. Indeed, we are taking orders if you could join me over here. Actually, today just so happens to be the first day we are taking orders for our vacation homes. Well, what splendid timing. Now then, I've been a visitor here many times, and this island always helps me feel relaxed. I suppose the atmosphere just suits me, do you know what I mean? In any case, I think it would be quite marvelous to have my own little getaway. The thing is, I haven't the slightest idea of how to make such a thing happen. That's what we're here for! No worries at all. We'll do our best to make your dreams come true. just happened. Oh, something got fucked up. Wait. How do I close this? Oh, there we go. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Sorry. Stuff on my computer got messed up. Just tell your hopes and dreams to Zai and they'll get started right away. Come on, let's all have a seat in our new meeting area. Now we can meet like professionals. Wow, this game actually used gender-neutral pronoun for, for the character. Oh, the breeze is delightful here. What a wonderful spot to conduct business. So let's get to it. Shall I just go ahead and describe my vision? Burning fields. P piss lakes all bow to the elephant queen yes tell us all about it paint us a picture do you have any thoughts on how you'd like to spend your time at your vacation home I could think of nothing else and I'm very particular I have some furniture I'd like to use no matter what you see my ideal place is like my relaxing reading room Eloise a chair, some books in a bookshelf, and some books not in a bookshelf. Okay. I think I have some manga at my house I could give you. My relaxing reading room, yes? That's a wonderful theme. Our client has a dream. Please fulfill that dream, Zai. As for the location... Well, I've had my eye on a particular small island near here. It's the one that looks like... Oh, yes, that island. Well then, you'll need to head to the site to complete the next step of the process. Good luck with the client at the job site. Nico will take you there by boat. Once you're on location, you can get to work right away. I can't wait to see how it all works out. Leave it to me, quack, quack, quack. That is adorable. Wow. It's daytime all of a sudden. 
And here we are. Watch your step. So that's going to be my vacation home. I'm so excited. Can we go inside and see what the inside is like? I don't know why I said inside twice. You bet. Come on, let's go. Oh my, what could be in these packages? I promise I haven't been shopping online yet. Oh yeah, these are the furnishings you requested earlier. Well, talk about service. I only just made that request and my order's already here. Now we got plenty of, we got some prep work to do first, so I'll need you to hang on for just a minute or two. Okay, newbie, this is it. The show. The real deal. The big time. Now's your chance to be a big shot. Obviously, the stuff the client orders shows up ahead of time. Take it out of the box with A, and then it's your job to arrange it, and, you know, make it look nice. But before we get to work, let's just real, go real quick over how work works. First up, get into decorating mode by pressing down. I I need total concentration. I'm entering decorating mode. It makes designing rooms as easy as key lime pie. Oh, man, I haven't had one of those in forever. You can check the furniture available by pressing the right button, so pick some stuff that matches the client's concept. Design until the designing's done, then report to the client and the job is finished. Does that cover it? Yeah, I think that covers it. Okay, Eloise. We're all set, so it's time to get to work. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to see the finished product, Zai. I'll be around, so let me know if you run into any trouble. Now show us what you got. Oh good, you don't have to actually manually open them. You can just... While working on your designs, you'll be using furniture pr produced, procured by Paradise Planning. You can see what furniture items the client requests under order. Make sure to use these in your design. You'll also find other items under order that'll likely fit the con client's requested concept. When in doubt, look, for these, look to these for inspiration. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. So, you don't have to limit yourself to just that. This camera is it isn't like the best. That's not what I wanted to do. You don't have to clap for me for generating items. Wait, I should be sticking to this, because this, this shows me exactly what's what, what might be nice for the order. And thankfully, wooden end table is one of those things. Thank you. 
I just realized the lighting source kind of moves around if you move it from where it's planted. Actually, wait. Let's let's move the books. Let's cook the books. nice. There, now no one can sit on them. Ah, I'm not too big on that. Like, this is a new thing they added where you can now kind of scooch between tight spaces. It just doesn't look right, though. It looks unnatural. And stuff. Wow, just, just just what she wants, a photo of herself. Nah, no real kitchen stuff included here. Love that part of that song. It's so good. It fits so well. It's such a wonderful, moody thing. Milk glass lamp. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oof. Oh. It, like, centered itself. That's cool. So it didn't, it didn't get off-centered. I think this is pretty nice. You know, you got squeeze in a bit, but you, hey, you could still turn this on and off. I'm sure you could fit. You mind moving a bit? Alright, here's what I might do, actually. Just because I don't like doing that. Again, I can't spend too much time, because the whole point of this mode is that you're going to be rapid-firing through a bunch of these. It's not really much better, though. Now the back is just cramped. But I guess you're really not going back there a whole lot. Okay, what can I put on there? Uh, we already have a lamp. Let's go put more books. Here we go. I like this. I'm going to go with that. Honestly, I don't like any of these walls. Pastel dotted wall? Nah, maybe? Yeah, I guess that works. Hmm. 
Hey, work. If you're finished, you should inform the client. Okay, before we get... Okay. Oh, shit. How's my vacation coming ho along? Is it ready? You did it! Thank you! Ha-cha-cha. Excuse me. Very silly, but I like it. It's very. It gives. It gives this game a, a charm that the no, the basic game kind of lacks. Even if it's just a couple shots of the character walking around with a filter on it. Wait, is that not pushed up against the wall? Oh, that's not gonna sit well with me. Oh, it's exactly how I imagined it. Now it's even better. Oh, I'm so glad I asked you to do this. Thank you so very much, Zai. It's marvelous. Well, look at you. Your first job, and it's a huge success. I can't wait to tell Lottie about the great work you did. Lottie, Lottie, bo body. Welcome back. So tell me, how was it with our first client? Man, nice. Hey, Sadie. Tell me everything. It went perfectly. Really? That's wonderful. The client was thrilled. I'm super impressed with how professionally Zai handled it all. That's so great. The more happy clients we have, the more our business will grow. I think the sky's the limit, and I'm so glad you've joined the team. And thanks for all your help, Nico. Our newcomer is in great hands with you. Just doing my job, but thank you so much for noticing. Alright, I should head back to the pier now. I'm already excited to get started with our next client. Hope you're ready for more, Zai. <laughs> okay, give me that sweet pokey. I had a poke bowl today. Oh, there's one last thing. Here, this is for you, Zai. You didn't think you'd be working for free, did you? Here's what you've earned so far. 6,000 pokey. Pokey? Not bells? Oh gosh, that's another important detail I should have mentioned. In this region of islands, we use pokey instead of bells as our everyday currency. You won't be able to spend pokey back home on Nobertazin, nor can you spend bells here. We may not have a lot for sale right now, but I'm sure you'll find a few things you like. Ooh, another new little, little ticky noise. Anyways, thanks again for all your work so far. Come see me when you're ready for another job. Ba bump. The shop items change every day. It says it costs 4,100 pokey for some beach chairs with parasol. Maybe some other time. <gasps> this has a bird on it. Small vase. Okay, it just straight up goes in your inventory. That lamp, I want one in real life. They're kind of pricey. Oh, these? The, the old style, like, newspaper editor. Those are souvenir chocolates. They are sweet and yummy. A truly great gift. A box of souvenir chocolates costs 800 pokey, but I could get discounted if I buy several at once. Buy one for 800 or buy three for 2,000. Uh-oh, I don't have enough on me. So these, if you give them to villagers, it makes them... It'll convince them to get a vacation home out here. I have... I used to have an old-fashioned lamp on my desk that it had like a, it had like a circular, you know, one of those circular uh, shades on it. It took up so much room, and it did not fit well on my desk at all. And then what happened was, um... Uh... The summer I got my new computer, I decided to get a, a much sleeker one. It's like a small, square, rectangular one. And it also has... Uh... Two USB ports and an extra plug on it. 
So now I don't have to give up a plug to, to keep the uh, lamp in, in the outlet. It's really nice. And it was weird buying it. It, felt, it really felt like my first adult purchase. Because I was like, oh, it's a functional lamp. Edit wand, edit work uniform, edit... W oh, okay, so I could change my work uniform and my regular clothes whenever I want. So it kind of ca it kind of counts as a transformation. No, I'm taking a break. No problem. Just come talk to me when you're ready for more. See, the interesting about the thing about Happy Home Designer, and I'm assuming this too, is that there's no limit to how much of this you can do. So if you want to plow through this game and just do everything until you've exhausted it. You're more than welcome to. It looks like the door is locked. Notice the DLC stuff likes to do stuff like that, yeah. Ooh, I like this. I wish you could get an... an... Oh, that... If the shadow got kind of fucked up there. Did you see that? Or oh, was there a bird on there that just flew away? So I don't think... I think there's an unlimited amount of side islands in terms of, uh... Oh, I could just take this stuff. Okay. I don't want to, though, because it's like... It's part of the island's beauty. Oh, once you take it, you can't put it back either. Okay, so we'll 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 stop. We'll stop yanking. This is cool. I know you could get something like this, uh, and then Nook with Nook Miles now. Wow, that moon looks weird. Moon. Ah, woo. So the main island has a bunch of buildings that eventually get opened up. And, like, you could design them. Like, they showed a hospital, a restaurant, and a school as a couple of them. But I am not sure... Oh, hey. This place is quite lovely, yet it's also very relaxing. I sometimes like to mix things up and be both at once. There's so many tiny islands here. It's the perfect supervillain layer. Too bad my muscles are hero caliber. There are a number of islets around here. Some folks just call them small islands, but I find that gauche. I can go swimming, I think, because I can put my wetsuit on. Something, I've mentioned this before, I, I'm i not sure if I mentioned this on stream, but something I've never, I, I never liked about video games, being able to, well, I mean, I like it, I don't mind it, but I also find it very unrealistic, uh, being able to go in the water and then get out and just be able to do stuff while in full clothes. Games like The Wind Waker, where when Link gets out of the water, he's dripping wet for like a good minute. I'm just like, oh God, how does he function? How do you do that? Getting in the getting in the water with their clothes on is already bad enough. I like this building. What is this? I want to live in that building. I like how they look when they're not designed. Because they've got like a very weird, like sleek modern look to them.
Guessing there's not much in terms of fish or anything to find. Nah. Why they let you swim out this far? You're from Nobertizen, right? Is that true that... Oh, uh, never mind. So do you feel like you made friends with this island yet? Because I think it likes you. What are you gonna tell me? Okay then, please change into your uniform. Done. Alright, you look like you're ready to go. Now let's see. I think you've got a handle on how vacation home design works. Your next lesson is sales. I'd like you to get out there and promote our vacation homes. Last time the client came to our office, but the truth of it is, you can't depend on walk-ins. Luckily, we've got a really talented staff. That includes you. And a talent I want you to develop is sales. And so, I want you to chat with the vacationers on the island and offer our services to them. You'll do great. It's not that hard. Folks will buy anything if you convince them they need it. Wink wink. Trust in yourself and go with the flow. You'll be making deals in no time. Good luck out there. Really? Gotta play friggin' salesman now. Like a little friggin'... Oh god, what do you want? Hey, hey, there you are. You're starting on your next job, yeah? Well, Nico's here to help. Look over there. Visitors like to hang out on the beach over there, and who can blame them? So they've come all this way, they're soaking up the vibes, they must be thinking vacation home, right? All you have to do is look in their eyes and it's almost like you could read their minds. Yep, the ones who are dreaming of living in paradise have it written all over their faces. Well, when you're ready to make their pitch, all you need to do is try talking to them. Good luck! Pay attention to their hearts, and if you think you've got a strong pitch, go for it! Want a place to make pottery around the clock? A giant projection screen for movies would be amazing. Ooh, those both sound like fun things. I dreamt of a room- home filled- I once dreamt of a home filled with toys. When I'm here, time just flies by like a dodo in a seaplane. Owning a fabulous vacation home would be quite the status symbol. Do I have that kind of status? Let's chat. I knew I could count on you. Now I must warn you, I'm quite detail-oriented. Let's get into it. I'm so excited to discuss the details of my home with you. She's farting. She's brapping. My ideal vacation home would be something along these lines. A movie projection palace, Friga. Popcorn? Oh, hell yeah. We're popping a corn. A whole corn. Oh, that's very nice. I really like the concept. Alright, now let's decide your location for the vacation home. Have you given this any thought? I'm not familiar with this area at all. Why don't you suggest one for me? It's supposed to be like berm because she's cold, but I don't know why there's the umf at the end. Well then, we'll prepare a location that is simply perfect for what you're looking for. You could check the available plots on that map. Just choose a location you'd like to recommend and let the client know. 
suggesting location. Each of the tiny islands in this area has its own characteristics. You could change the season by pressing X. You can also build multiple vacation homes on the same island. Ooh, that's... I, oh, that's cool. So it looks like every spot has a... They said multiple on the same island, but did they mean, like, same dot, or you can't select the same dot? So what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 by 7, so it's 49. Minus the one in the middle, so 48. Different plots of land. See, this is cool. Why can't you do desert in in on your on your island? Ugh. Imagine having your fucking vacation home here on on a, on a fucking rock. There's a glacier up here. Look at that. Doesn't matter what season it is. You're going to be freezing. There's five seasons here. There's there's winter. This I guess that's the default. Like it's the it's the default for any area, and you could just change it to be whatever season you want. Yeah, I think that's it. That's awesome. I want to save that for a really nice house. I'm so indecisive. I don't know. Here, let's let's go somewhere close. Let's just pick this little one. Oh my, isn't this gorgeous? It's settled. That's the place for me. All right, for the next step in the process, you'll need to head to the site. Would you mind accompanying? I know you're gonna knock it out of the park. Okay, we're getting into repetitive stuff now because we're 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 getting the groove of this. Oh, hey, my fucking uh, headphones finally fully... The left earpiece finally ripped completely around at the seam, and now all the foam is, like, sticking out. Oh, that sucks. At least it's still secure in there, and it still fits over my ear. Things go sour. Come out to talk to me for advice anytime. Oh, if you want to set up the yard as well, press down enter decorating mode. Try it out whenever you want to propose a yard design. I'm calling it off, you know. <laughs> you hold the door open for her. Okay, well, we want that to be front and center. <gasps> oh, my favorite sofas. Okay, we're putting we're putting these down. Hell yes. What? 
Speakers? Yes. Can we fit in here? Yes, we can. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's eliminate this and leave a hole in the middle. Uh, but now it's not lined up properly. Shit. Here we go. This is good. machine oh look I could I could put snacks down I think I could fit three in the same row. Oh no, I can. Cool. Curtain wall. Ooh, there we go. Green pop floor. Looks like a movie theater. Perfect. Okay. And we just need a couple of uh, stands. What's the plush massage chair? Ooh. Thank you. 
go. I could probably put something over here. Something nice to, like... Oh, we could put floor lights in. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's perfect. Uh, except I don't have room for any of them. Yeah, I hate how floor lights take up space. Like, that really shouldn't take up space. Alright, let's get rid of those. I think this is good. I feel like there should be something on the other side, but... Let's do a cool low table. And we'll do two, uh, two more popcorns on it. This is lovely. I like this. We could just kind of... Eh, eh, eh. Oh, I just realized there's no way to get in there. Uh, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Isn't this room a little, how you say, over-decorated? I'd be delighted if you could clear out some space for me to walk or stand or perhaps see the floor. Okay. Alright, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll stick with one row of seats. I'm gonna move this back, uh, one half square. And now we could probably just put uh, floor lights down here. <laughs> Love how awful that looks. All right. Actually, wait, now I could do this instead. Move this back. Move this here. And I could put that there. That's nice. You did it! Thank you! Admire that house. Oh, I didn't decorate the outside. Fuck. Ah, oh, I forgot to do that. Oh, it acts as an actual TV.
I could go back and redecorate people's houses as time goes on, so I could always go back and do the front later. What a gorgeous vacation home. I just knew asking you was the right call. I'll pat myself on the back. Oh yes, photographs. You should take this opportunity to snap a few photos of this lovely vacation home. Oh good, you have a camera app on that Nook phone of yours, yes? Use that to take your photos. Speaking of cameras, we have a design portfolio with photos of the properties we've handled. Would it be okay if we showed yours in there? Of course, darling. You may use them however you see fit. Great, thank you so much. Okay then, get some amazing pictures, I. When you get a shot that screams, that's the one, close the camera app for a second and show the client. Be careful not to accidentally hit the shutter again and overwrite your picture, though. Okay, I'm heading back outside now. You've got this. You've got this, partner. Good luck with your photographs. If you take a good one, please let me know. All done. What's next? Now that the home is decorating complete, you could press that to change outfits and down to move folks around. Oh, okay. So it's like it's like Photopia. From here, you could change the outfits of anyone present. If you select someone other than yourself and press Y, you can enter matching mode and pick who will match their outfits. Can't matching. You can't use matching mode with your own clothing. You're still limited to very specific items, though. straw boater on her. It's adorable. Those dresses aren't too flattering to her figure. But, oh, no, no, no. Keep the, keep the flower on. There we go. Plumeria. It's nice. Isn't that the name of the girl from Pokemon? Uh... Pokemon Sun and Moon. The one who was, uh... What's-his-name assistant? Oh my god, I, I can't remember the characters' names. Press in L to hide to show a character. You could change which character is hidden again by pressing L. Hiding is not possible. The Joy-Con controller held horizontally. Oh no! Whoa! Up, gone in a puff of smoke. All right. Uh, yo, what are you doing? I told you to sit on the chair. What did you do? What is you doing? I need you to stay seated here while I take a good photo, baby. Do we really have to actually take a foot like a physical photo every time though? Yeah, I guess we do. How'd it go? Did you get your photograph? Do you think it's a good one? I'm sure you do, dear. I sure did. Oh my, that's so good. Now there's a photograph that I wouldn't be too embarrassed to show others. I don't know how you phased through the wall to take it, but it looks great. So I thank you for everything today. And keep up the good work out there. I'm sorry, I am so mature. Welcome back. How did things go out there? Eh, uh, you know... Great. The client was really pleased with the results, even though this dipshit forgot to design the lawn. 
So that's another job well done. Way to go, Zai. Here's the 6,000 pokey you earned for this job. Show Lottie that photo you took, Zai. Is this of the vacation home you just worked on? Wow, it looks great. The client asked us to use the photo and also gave us permission to use it as an example of our work. Oh, how wonderful. You know, I've been using an app to organize information on all the properties we worked on. Adding photos will make it easier to see what sort of design we used for a given vacation home at a glance. Let's test it out now. Can you pull out your phone so I could send you the app? Oh, a whole new app. Okay, Happy Home Network. Okay, there we go. You could check in on vacation phone, vacation homes you've worked on, and info and vacation, vacation homes you've worked on. You could check info on the vacation homes you've worked on at any time with the Happy Home Network app. Now then, can I get that photo you took? I'll try to add it right now. Boop. All right, and listed on Zillow. Got it. Looks like it worked, and I think the design looks great. I think we'll use the photos in the app to advertise Paradise Planning's design portfolio. So you should be proactive about adding photos when working on future vacation homes, alright? Be organized. Got it. Be proactive. What? No, it's be provocative. Sorry. You got pools of blood in your stomach. My name is Dr. Bill Flem, and my best friend is Dr. Sam Hengus. Oh, I met Bill Flem in college. We were dorm mates. We both suffer from pools of blood in our stomach. There's a simple way to treat pools of blood in the stomach. You just simply be provocative, and you be organized. Be provocative. Okay, I get that. Be organized. What? A simple way to determine if you do have pools of blood in your stomach is to take a thin rope Put it down your throat, into your stomach. If it, you come back up and there is blood on the tip, congratulations. You got, you got pools, pools of blood, blood in your stomach. Problem. I got blood in my stomach. Solution. Be provocative, be organized. <laughs> Any idiot can do this. I have a harder time being provocative than being organized, but they're both important. Be provocative. Oh! Be organized. Tight. Follow my two-step plan. It's worked for Bill Flam. One of the tamer Tim and Eric bits, but still one that holds up. Tim and Eric's weird. Either either their bits are either their bits are boring as shit, they're disgusting as fuck, or they'll be the funniest thing you've ever seen. Or in cases like that, it'll be just okay. But most of the time, they kind of swing to the extremes. They really, they really, they aim for the fences. That's all I'm saying. I still have not seen the Billion Dollar Movie, and I've heard. Very mixed things about it, about how, like, the first 20 minutes and the last 10 minutes are amazing, and how the other hour of the movie is just, like, incredibly boring. Thanks for your help. Okay, do you want to call it a day, or do you want to keep working a bit longer? I'll work a little longer. Yeah, I, think, I don't think I'm going to be doing Fuga tonight. I think, um... I think I'll... Actually, you know what? Mm. It's only 2.30. I could go for another whole hour. Maybe I could finish Chapter 6 of Fuga tonight? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm in the mood to, like, switch to that. Since you took such a good photo for our design portfolio in the last job, I'd like you to take another one. Would you mind going back to Eloise's home and getting a good shot? After all, we have to record the very first home built and designed by Paradise Planning, don't we? While you're there, please ask if we have any problems have come up and how we can fix them, if so. We want to keep our clients happy, so they'll tell folks about our attention to detail. Ask Nico to take you over to Eloise's place. I'll call ahead so Eloise will know to expect you. Thanks! How much is this lamp? 140 for a banker's lamp. Okay, let's buy it. Mm. 
I was just gonna stop once I hit three hours and uh, go eat f eat something. But I'm not super hungry. Again, I had a poke bowl today, and it took me until like I had to eat. My job got so busy, I had to fucking spread it out over like four hours, and uh, because of that, I only finished it a couple hours ago. So I'm not super hungry, and I also planned on making chili tonight. But, uh... I don't know. The issue is if I go too much longer past, like, 3.15, 3.30 or whatever. Uh... Then I'm not gonna have time to make the food. And I, but I also don't know if I'm even gonna be hungry. Ah, oh, it's so conf... Yeah. I shouldn't think about it. I should just do stuff. Because the, the more time I waste, the less accomplished I'm going to be. I had an idea I'd love to ask you about. Is this a good time? Uh, I'm a bit busy. Oh, I see. Well then, I can wait until your hands are free, cheese ball. Oh, I love that name. If I tell that to Nessie, she's going to start calling me that. Oh my god, look at this dog. Fret? You know the tourist, the local maybe? Oh, you're a vacation home builder. Didn't recognize you on account of uh never having met you. Well, this is perfect. You're not busy right now, are you? Because I've got vacation home questions galore. Got your hands fillet? I know how that is. Reminds me of the time. Oh, uh, I'll just catch up with you later. <gasps> Ooh. Vivian. What can I do for you, Piffle? Piffle. Look at him, he's just kicking sand up. He's enjoying his life. Hey, there you are. You need a ride to Eloise's, right? Body caught me up. Shall we go right now? Okay, leave it to me. Hey, you're probably going to be visiting our clients' vacation homes more and more, right? Anytime you want, come see me. I'll get you there right away on the Monkey Boat Express. Oh man, the sequel to Monkey Ball. Monkey Boat. I can't wait. But, yeah, actually, it might be even easier if you tell me using the Happy Home Network. Mind trying it now? Choose Eloise's place and hit visit. It's easy, I promise. I'm definitely... I've never owned or played a monkey ball, so I will definitely be getting the, the new one on the Switch once it goes down in price a bit. Just because it's like a best of, and it's like, ah, oh, it's great. And Sega always puts their shit on sale. I doubt it's on sale now. Same with Mario Party. Mario Party is a game that I would like to have because I've never owned a Mario Party. But I also just don't have time for it. And I don't know if it'll go... That'll probably go on sale physically, so I probably won't get it uh, digitally. But, um... It's not on sale yet. Neither is... Uh, why is a Mario Party on here? Some of these games, I just don't even know if I'm going to bother getting. I'm going to wait until Black Friday because you know there's going to be some... Major fucking sales going on at that point. What? Oh. <laughs> you could use the Happy Home Network at any time to view info on the vacation homes you've designed for work. Facilities. Paradise Planning. Oh, you could put two houses down per plot, I'm guessing, because it looks like there's room for two. Oh, whoa, 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 hang on. That's not the right destination, is it? One floor spring. This boring ass island. Welcome. Lottie told me to expect you. I was thrilled when she said you might be coming by. I wanted to thank you again. Once I actually spent time here, I realized just how wonderful it really is. Thank you. You're so welcome. Yeah, that's I. That there is a fan of your work. Now, if you have any problems at all, please don't hesitate to check in with us at the office. 
If you want to redecorate or move, we're here to help. Certainly. If I'm going to need a hand, I'll definitely reach out. That said, I really can't imagine being dissatisfied with anything here. But I must say, if you have any good ideas about remodeling or moving, please tell me. By the by, you two came to take pictures, yes? Take as many as you like and all the time you need to... I have all the time in the world, so just shut her bug to your heart's content. Hey, since we're all here, what if we got some pictures with Eloise in there? I wouldn't mind at all. I've done my share of modeling, you know. The camera and I get along just fine. And feel free to direct me, too. If you want me to stand in a certain spot of the light, just let me know. Thank you. Alright, get us some great pictures, I. You can do it. I'll be waiting outside, so when you want to head back, say goodbye to the client, okay? Say goodbye to Exodia! I don't remember that vo the voice. I just remember the line. First photo you take into vacation will automatically be posted to the Happy Home Network. You can replace that photo with another by taking another impressing plus. Only the last photo taken can be used as a replacement. Oh, I can't move shit. Okay, no, that is against the wall. That's as close as it gets, unfortunately. Scooch over just a tad. Can I take out a book too? That'd be na that'd be nice. <laughs> Still love that. It's very silly. I saw the photo you took. It's already been uploaded to the Happy Home Network. You did such a good job. By the way, how did things go with the client? Any issues to report? None at all. That's great to hear. Still, from now on, it might be a good idea to add occasional client visits into your routine. Happy customers are repeat customers, after all. I'm always down at the pier, so feel free to so hit me up when you need a boat ride. Just say I want to visit a home. Thank you, Nico. You're always so reliable. I don't know what we'd do without you. Well, I should pay for this job, shouldn't I? Based on your services this time, you've earned 2,000 pokey. Thanks for taking such a wonderful photo. I appreciate your help. You want to call it a day? Yeah. Alright. Take it easy and rest up. So it seems like the work kind of goes, like, from one, just one thing to another. You don't really get a choice in what you're going to do next. It just happens. You can ask, like, the vacation home to visit it. Okay. Leave. Okay, so that just takes you back home, I guess. Whoops. Oh, I'm supposed to mention that we've expanded our little operation. Now we've got direct flights to Harvey's Island, which should reduce your turbulence a bit. Oh, and thanks for choosing Dodo Airlines, where it uh, doesn't take wings to take wing. All right, so what would you like to do? Okay, so they're treating this like like this really is like. A whole new like area you could just stay in. You could just go to Harvey's Island from here. Now I wonder, does Happy Home Network work when you're at home? Happy 
tower things. Vacation home is even fabulous to look at on the outside. I simply adore it. Okay. How's your home? What about it? Let's talk remodeling. Leave it up to you and your impeccable design sensibilities. Actually, never mind. So there really isn't, like... There really isn't any limitation to this all. Oh, okay, so you could leave through the... Why do they have two, like, leave... Why is there a leave option with the, with the person there? Also, does talking to Nico do anything different than using the app? No, it just opens it. Okay. So talking to Nico is literally just a, a formality. Look how desolate this is. Imagine wanting to live on this. Oh yeah, you can just put yeah, you can just put whatever you want out here. Ronk. Can I just designing an outdoor space plus enter fence path building mode? Up, change time and weather. Right, left, change the seasons. Right, change furniture or plants. Okay. You can redesign the exterior of a home by placing your cursor on it plus pressing X. Oh, God, really? Oh, look at this. You get all the choices. Oh, they have all the uh, all the design options from, from before. That's neat, so you can choose whatever you want for these. Imagine if designing the main island was this easy. Also, it's very weird, you can see the roots of the uh, palm tree over here. <laughs> Lay path. Or, oh, okay. Wow. Why can't you do this? Like the, the, the normal path. The normal island needs this. Uh, honestly. And you can just drag the whole house. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. Looks nice. Looks kicking. Hmm. 
frozen fence. Yeah, that's just what you want here. Recommended, but we can also ch change it to winter. Enjoy your frozen hellscape. We we won't go too wacky here. Like it's it's tempting to, but also it's like it's nice to just fit the theme and just go with how it's supposed to look. God, I control everything about this island. Now, vines, like, how would you put a vine down? Can you put, like, an entire cliff, maybe? Maybe it's just for preset cliffs. Yeah, I don't think you can actually, uh, build cliffs or anything. Yeah, you can do this too. You can sprout, stump, baby, child, adolescent, adult. take those corners into consideration. Why are there clothing items? I guess you could just put clothing items outside. That's fine. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of decorations I could put outside that really fit, though. I could put a toilet out there if I want. Garden faucet. Put a mountain bike, she could ride it around the, the two feet of this island.
we go. Basic, but nice. I control your life while you live on this island. Alright, let's, let's push this a bit. I want this against the wall, damn it! There we go, way better. Oh, you can turn that on and off, okay. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Nah, this does look better here. Even if it does partial- I hate how the windows in this game are so low. It gets a it gets in the way of everything, honestly. Eh, it's fine. Again, I don't know how because because if you're doing like fifty of these, I think there's a limit to to when you start like running out of steam to just concentrate on it. the name as it is. Okay. And I guess we got we got to see the uh we got to see the the montage every time. Take photo. Yes, take out your stick. Thank you so much for everything you've done today. Oh, of course, since you're here and all, how about immortalizing your work with some pictures? It's such a photogenic home, doubtless it will make for some simply magnificent pictures. Uh, we already got the photos we need. We, we already did what we needed to here, we're fine. Oh, nice! Wow, even just remodeling gets you. M wow, so you—it's—it's—it it's, is not hard to make uh, money here. All right, I'm going to small covered round table. Meh. I will buy this. Beach chairs with parasol. So I'm gonna head back to the mainland. I think. I gotta figure out how to do that, actually. Change jar is standing by. Oh, I want to go back. Okay. Let me know when you're ready for liftoff. Lift- we, we have liftoff. So I could do that or I can leave through the app, right? I guess it just takes you right there. That's where you are right now. Oh, I guess leave for that area. Okay. So now you gotta talk to... 
all uh, will be to get back. Okay, well, getting back to the islands quick, at least. That's good. Wow, you're still out here. Not visit from here. Okay. Alright, so you have to be in happy home mode for it to work. Okay, well, so it's it's pretty clearly set. At the same time, it is nice that you could just access it, uh, the app from there. Bankers, oh, I got these now. I should probably put some stuff down. Small vase, we'll put that away. Like how you can't roll, even though it's a single piece of furniture, you can't roll between them. That's very nice attention to detail. What is up? You want this? Oh, what is it, honk? Whoa, souvenir chocolates for me? You're a rock star. Alright, so I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that these came from that resort place you work at, right? It sounds rad there. I really need to check it out for myself, honk. How about right now? Seriously? Alright, I feel kind of bad making you go to work and all, but if you're offering... All right, and that's how that works. <laughs> you just gotta give him the chocolate. Whoa, this place actually exists? I kind of wasn't sure. Thanks a ton for dragging me out here. I think I'm going to go explore. See ya. Ah, oh, you brought a friend along from Nobertizen. I hope they enjoy the island. Never thought I'd end up in this sort of place. It's like some kind of dreamland here. Maybe I ought to get some photos of myself. This will help me prove this place is actually real. <laughs> All right, and I guess since they're here now, if I do another job that requires them to be here, uh, they will be available to give a house to. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I want to do that right now, though. It's actually getting close to, to three hours I'm streaming. I think I might want to wrap this up. Because the thing is, like, when it comes to Animal Crossing, there's only so much I've, I can stand to stream before it's just like, okay, I just want to play this on my own now. 
You know what, though? Maybe one more house. Just one more house. Have fun out there. Oh, okay, so now I don't have a... I don't have a goal. Want to watch sports without any distractions. I want a place for my friends to gather for fancy parties. Oh. Well, I like Renee and all, but... somewhere where it's fall all the time. Dear Dre. Whoa, a new face. Hey, you're one of those vacation home folks, right? Just a guess. You're rad, and vacation homes are rad. So, could you work a bit of that paradise planning magic for me? Whoa, really? I mean, yeah, cool. Let's do this, whatever. Alright, here goes. I know this is kind of out there, but here's what I'm thinking for my vacation home. A little slice of fall. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's very nice. I really like your concept. Alright, now the next step is for you to choose an island for the client. That's technically peak season fall, but it's also like, what? This is peak season spring, but these other two spot, other three spots are summer. Look at this plot of land, that's really nice. There's not a whole lot of fall, it's just these, kind of. Wow, that spot's awesome. This is gonna rule whatevs. Dear Dre, we found an excellent location for you, but you'll need to see it for yourself before we begin. Zai, please lead Deirdre to the site, and best of luck. Alright, we got it. We in it. Oh, so this is my vacation home, huh? I wasn't sure it was real. The... the that looks so awkward. Those stairs look like they were standing in the middle of nowhere. No, it's not done yet. Calm your tits. Flaming pile of leaves, perfect. There you go. It's perfect for you. Ooh, I could go like a... Yeah, mush wall, yeah. No, auto... Oh, yes! There we go. Beautiful. Mushroom pizza, pumpkin soup. You're gonna get plenty of good food. Pumpkin scones, mushroom potage. It's chunky, just like the vending machine drink from Persona 5. Here's a fire pit to go with your flaming leaves. Some more leaf piles. You can't have more. You can't have too many leaves.
What is this item? I'm gonna get rid of the fire pit, honestly. I don't I don't think we need it. <laughs> Leaf campfire, okay. Some, uh, Trees Bounty Arch. Okay. That thing's cool. I forgot. The arches have really big limitations on how far you could put stuff next. Oh, I guess not. That's fine. slice of fall. I'd say this is a huge chunk of fall, fall you got here. What's this man? That, that doesn't look like something fall themed. This is very zen. It's very nice. It's relaxing. You get to do stuff quickly. While also keeping it very thematic. It's a fucking wizard. How are they doing it? Change the look of bridges and inclines by placing the plate cursor over them and pressing X. Oh, cool. Hey, get out of the way, buddy. Log for fall.
feel like that works. We need something more... Wood, maybe? Yeah, it looks like it could work. And this, we want to go log cabin style here, baby. Oh, look, there it is. Stuco? No. Let's go natural woodwork. Same general design pattern as the other house. Oh, you can't. Oh, so you could put like vines over. Oh, okay. So that gives us a bit more to work with here. No. Really? How do you hang the vine on here? Or is there just not enough room? Oh, maybe I have to pick it. No, that won't work. Maybe. Hold on. You were able to put vines on the wall. Since that technically is space up there you could get. Yeah, whatever. Foresty home. What else could we add out here? Log benches, maybe? Oh, 
Ooh, let's put a fire pit. Ooh, perfect. That's a perfect fall thing. We could put this here. This here. Grab that fire pit and just plop it down right there. Perfect. Beautiful. is a little too close though. I'm going to move that. Maybe you best on this side over here. Put something else in that spot right there. Uh There. Nice. Not too complicated, but damn good. I think I like the exterior more than the exterior, so I'll probably take a photo out there. snap ourselves out of existence. Uh, all right. tree over here. There we go. Now it's all viewable. Is it finished? Is it done yet, whatevs? Actually, wait a minute. The hell? Oh. It's my friend saying he's online. You're a rock star, like a sold out instantly jam packed stadium rock star. Let's check it out. Yeah, the angle on this isn't that great for getting a photo from the outside. This is pretty good, wait. Yeah, that was nice. No, face the, the fire pit, you dummy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thanks for everything. Vacation home life is gonna be sweet. So, got any plans after this? Uh, I already got the photo. All good. Careful getting back. And that hangout invitation is always there. Whatevs. We're back. Huh? Ah! Whoa, you did it again. It's all shiny now. Oh, I'm getting the polishing ability, aren't I? Wardell can make anything shiny by polishing it. Anything. I swear, it's like magic. Wardle keeps things nice and clean around here, but he always tries to do it when none of us are around. I always put cleaning at the bottom of my to-do list when I get busy, so I'm really thankful for your help. Yeah, thanks, Wardle. Now then, thanks for another job well done, Zai. How do I know it went well? Because you've got the face of a winner. Just look at you, winner all over. Here's the 6,000 pokey you've earned. Keep up the good work. Yeah, we're gonna call it a day here. Don't overwork yourself, okay? looking prepared today what a chill workplace so I wouldn't mind working if this was how it w how it would go <laughs> god my job just pissed me off so much today I don't want to talk about it anyway oh I don't think Renee oh she is still here okay Interesting. I wonder how long before they leave. Maybe it's like every day they refresh. Jewelry box? Why you call me that? Alright. I think that's enough. We managed to get a whole three-hour stream out of Animal Crossing, which, you know, didn't think that would be happening in 2021, but we managed to make it happen, so I'm happy about it. Oh, look, and she's back. <laughs> she's just here now. Oh, good. Best music. 3 a.m. Animal Crossing. I don't think I've ever played this at 3 a.m. I would only hear this either on my own or when Lols was streaming this game, because he'd stream it at 4 a.m. and that's that's 3 a.m. his time. <laughs> and every time I'd be like, "Oh, you know what it's time for? It's time for the trumpets." It's my up. Uh... You know what? I'm not even gonna bother because they're just gonna regenerate tomorrow. Bottle. Okay. Tad. Leaf? What? Okay.
think Leaf is just a parasol. Alright, well, uh, this was a fun stream. Uh, didn't honestly feel too repetitive, especially once I got into the Happy Home Paradise. Uh, I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna progress streaming this. I'm probably not gonna be doing, like, a, di like a daily or weekly stream of this. I might just revisit Happy Home Designer on stream a few times. But I think in terms of, uh, the main game, I might stop it once, once all the co-op stuff is unlocked, and then kind of just have that be the end of it. And just do the rest on my own. I don't know how much I want to get into this, honestly. I wasn't looking forward to this update because I have so much other stuff to play. But, um, it was fun. It was fun doing this. It was nice and chill. Got to relax a bit. Um, this weekend, I, I don't know what's happening tomorrow. I might do an early stream just for a bit in the day. Like, I, again, I say that and it never happens, so it probably won't. Uh, Sunday morning. Uh, 6 a.m. Eastern, 5 a.m. Central, 3 a.m. Pacific. Uh, I'll be playing Tetris 99 on the VoiceOver Nexus channel uh, against viewers for Extra Life. Uh, if you want to check all the details... Well, first off, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's already... This is already going to be up before... After it's over. So, you missed it. But, uh, if you're watching the VOD of this or you're watching this live, um, check out VoiceOver Nexus on Twitch... Or VO... What? I can't remember the actual Twitter handle. Hold on. The VO Nexus, yes, on uh, on Twitter. All the details are there. Uh, we're raising money for the Extra Life charity, specifically for... Uh, I... Hold on, I have to actually see what, what, the, what it is. Um... But up, up, uh, I forget the name of the hospital because it's in it's in Texas. Dell's Children's Hospital in Texas. We're raising money for them. Um, so yeah, if you want to check it out, I'll be probably be auto hosting them once the marathon starts tomorrow. It's a 25 hour marathon. I'll be on for those two hours in the morning, and uh, I hope to see you there. Uh, it's 25 hours because of daylight savings time. That's just that's just how it works. Anyway, if you want to watch more streams right now, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wild and plenty of people streaming there right now. Um, I don't know if auto host will kick in because again, it's it's kind of broken. But uh, check them out. Some fun people streaming there. Y'all have a great evening. Thank you for coming. And I'll either see you tomorrow during the day or I'll see you Sunday morning. Or maybe you won't see me. I don't know. Come by though, please. Thank you. Have a good night.